Good day everyone. Our tutorial for today is all about how to install Windows Server 2008 32-bit using VMware Workstation version 9. So now we will going to create a new virtual machine. Click the create a new virtual machine icon. Choose custom. Click next. Click next. Click next. On this video, the version we will choose only Windows Server 2008. Click next, then click browse. We will choose a different folder for our installation. So now we will create a separate folder for our Windows Server installation. Click OK. Then we will copy the path. Click Next. Click Next. We will set our RAM to 512 megabyte. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Click Next. Then we will choose store virtual disk as a single file, then we will set out maximum disk size into 40 gigabytes. Click next. Then we will paste the path that we copied earlier. Click next. Click finish. So now we've created our new virtual machine. Click CD DVD. Click use ISO image file, then browse. Then find the ISO file of your Windows Server 32-bit. Click Next. Click OK. Then click Power on this virtual machine. Wait for the virtual machine to boot up. The language and time current format is set as English as the default values. Click Next. Then click Install Now. Uncheck the box on the Automatically Activate, then click Next. Click No. Choose Windows Server 2008 Enterprise Full Installation. Then check the box for, I have selected the edition of Windows. Then click Next. Click check the box for, I accept the license terms. Then click Next. Choose and click the custom advanced button. Then click Next. Wait for the installation to finish. We'll just fast forward the installation process so that we can proceed to the next phase.
When the installation's finished, the virtual machine will automatically restart. After the restart, a prompt will appear. Click OK. Type your new password on the text box. We will use the temporary password as password asterisk 1, 2, 3 asterisk. Then type again the confirm password, password asterisk 1, 2, 3 asterisk. Click Next. Then click OK. Wait for the loading of your operating system while preparing your desktop. When you see your desktop on your new operating system, it means your installation finished. And do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.